Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming. Welcome back to Mini Metro Monday. Today we take on Sao Paulo, Brazil. Our job is to manage the busy Sao Paulo network of a small number of teaming stations. My best score when I played this or attempted to play this was 25. I played for about a minute, so I probably checked the map out and then went off and did something else. <laughs> That's the only way I can think that I got a score of 25. I probably didn't play it for very long. I'm not sure if I necessarily got overcrowding, although it's entirely possible, but let's give it a go. And we have our three basic shapes. And we have access to six lines, four tunnels, that's nice. We have two locomotives. And we have a triangle here. I think I'm gonna do... No, let's uh, just connect that to that. It's possible I went one week, thought I wouldn't need tunnels, and uh, <laughs> very quickly lost. Or I might have needed another line and lost. Although I suspect I just uh, stopped playing and closed out of the game. Because right now I'm up to 15 passengers served. I don't know, 11 passengers. And there we go, 16 passengers. What I'm going to do is just connect this like this. We're up to 18. 20. So yeah, at this point I must have just closed the game because reasons. I'm at 23 right now. Nowhere near overcrowding. And we have a circle down there. Uh, I'm going to connect that to that. Let's try this. And week number two, we have a new locomotive and we can either get a line or a carriage. I'm thinking let's go for a carriage. <laughs> of course, since I don't exactly know the best strategy to play on this map, Another line might be good, although we do have access to the th third line. Of course, with that said, we never know when we are going to get a line as a benefit. And... could be a problem so I'm going to just do that we're actually going to remove connect that to that Ideally, you want to try to keep things balanced. So we got one, two, three, four. We got three and four. This is going to have few stations, but it's going to have probably lots of passengers. 
We're up to 113, 114. And we have one up here. We're gonna connect this to here. And we have one locomotive and one carriage available to us. Oh, wow. Huh. All of a sudden, we have a whole lot of passengers popping up. So, yeah, that could be a problem. Uh, line or carriage. Right now, things are kind of balanced. Not sure if I'm going to need the line. I have a carriage. Let's go for a line just in case. Oh, wow. Um. Okay. It's good. Although, wow. Uh, let's put... Yeah, carriage on that. Got any special shapes? Let's connect that to that. Oi. That should be good. Although, with that said, uh, let's just add another one. here I want to take care of these problems before they become issues Let's connect that to that Wow Where did all those pastures come from Whoa Uh uh this I'm gonna throw this onto here and since it was carrying all circles shouldn't be a problem that's not gonna add any more to that although now and we have another issue uh... Wow. Are we good? Locomotive, line, or carriage? I'm Let's go with the carriage. And... Put one there. I'm going to put this here. No! Game over. Overcrowding in this station has forced your metro to close. 345 passengers traveled on your metro over 21 days. That was insane. Um, <laughs> you know what? Let's give this a go. Like, I didn't even get 10 minutes into the video. So, yeah, we're going to restart. Alright, so 
Number one priority on this map, carriages. <laughs> carriages. Yeah, you just get so many freaking passengers. And we got a triangle. It starts off slow, you know, you can handle it. And then the, the game just throws passenger after passenger after passenger after passenger. Like that's just insane. This is like a masochist wet dream. <laughs> Wow. And what I'm going to do is connect this to here. Although I would like to have it go to a triangle. Yeah, that's going to be fine. <laughs> That's insane. I'm like, where are these passers freaking coming from? I think another thing that could help is having an emergency line. And by that I mean having one line available, one locomotive, and then where you have a problem line, basically connect here to here and then just remove the line. <sighs> oh, jeez. Uh, that... And week number two, locomotive. We have a line or a carriage. I think we will go with a carriage because we are going to definitely need it already. <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I'm going to connect that to that just because. And we have a circle there. passengers here and we have a diamond up here um, I'm gonna do that although with that said actually be already here. This one's already getting overloaded. And week number three, we have a locomotive and line or carriage. Thinking carriage. Let's put the locomotive there and send that to there. We're going to put the carriage.
that line. At any time, I can remove the, one of the carriages off and put it on the other line. Although, things are fine for now. Now that I know what to expect, this is already overcrowding. Carriages. That's what you need, carriages. <laughs> um, what I might just do is connect that to that. the size of that line. This could be a problem. And we got a square here. Oh, nice. to put this line to here. We're up to 255 passengers. Although it pretty well ramps up very quickly. Uh, yeah. Is that as soon as that station started overloading I'm like yeah I gotta put one in there carriage or line I'm thinking carriage and we're going to put the carriage on no that one's fine um, <laughs> three three squares I've never had this kind of luck with squares uh, we're going to put a carriage on there. We're up to 314 passengers. So I seem to be doing a whole lot better than last time. Although I have a feeling the better you're doing, the better you're handling things, the more the game will ramp up. It's like the game knows. It's like, ah, you're beating me. So I'm going to uh, <laughs> throw this at you. Oh, you're beating me now. I'm going to throw this at you. Oh, you're, you, you think so, eh? I'm going to throw you at this at you. I'm just going to dump as many freaking passengers on your lines as possible. You're not going to be able to handle it. <laughs> but it looks like my strategy is paying off. I have like three carriages which is more than I had last time. And I think my lines are a little bit more efficient. I actually only have three lines compared to what, four lines last time? And I'm up to nearly 400 passengers. So whatever I'm doing, I'm doing something right this time around. <laughs> Although now the game is starting to accumulate passengers up in this area. And I may want to preemptively take care of that. So we're going to put another one on there. And now we have... No, we're going to be good. I'm thinking I might want to extend this to here. Four, another locomotive and a line or carriage. Uh, what do I want? I want both. Carriages are nice. Hmm. <laughs> 
wine or a carriage. Is there a lot of passengers here? Here's the thing, if I go for a line, what am I going to run for the line? I have everything's being handled. I, I need capacity, so I'm gonna go with the carriage. And I'm going to throw the carriage onto this. Achievement unlocked. Bill Het Unico. I got above 500 passengers. And I think that's what I need for to unlock uh, the next. Oh, okay. Uh, we are going to want to um, throw this here. And I'm going to connect this here. release some of the demand although this needs to get up there as quickly as possible there we go and oh wow Game over. Overcrowding at this station has forced your metro to close. 603 passengers traveled on your metro over 31 days. Yeah. How? <laughs> well, we unlocked Cairo. <laughs> oh, yeah, I needed at least, was it 500 passengers? Yeah, I need to get 500 passengers on Cairo in order to unlock Auckland. So I definitely would have had to replay this, would have had to replay it next week. But since I, that was a short episode and it's actually two attempts in one episode, 20 something minutes. Yeah, um, that's a challenge. So what? Is, how do I rank compared to everyone else? Bottom 35%. Rank of 23,969. That is insane. 603 passers. You know what? I might just have to go on YouTube and Mini Metro. Just watch tons of players playing these maps. Just figure out what they're doing that I am not doing. What strategy do you go for in order to actually be successful <laughs> I will say that there is a youtuber Skystorm that I am subscribed to and watch and he's done mini Metro although he's only done what was it he did New York City I think and no 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 he did London and Paris I believe he only ever did the two videos and he got about uh, I think 2,000 on each map so I was watching some of his, I was watching, I think the London video to see his strategy. And I kind of did that strategy on, I think it was the Montreal map, but 1285. But yeah, if you have any thoughts or suggestions on a strategy for a particular map, any ideas on the best way to set up your lines. I know that it's always different because the stations do pop up in different places every time. So obviously the best tips are more general in nature. Is my reliance on loops working for me or should I have a combination of loops and endpoints? I did have one end end to end line in that one, but uh, I've heard that 
loops are about 25% more efficient, so that's why I've been focusing on loops. But, uh, who knows? Anyway, at this point, I'd like to say thank you for joining me for this week's episode of Mini Metro Monday. We'll have more coming up with Cairo in the next episode. Bridge the Nile to bring Cairo together with your stable of smaller trains. Oh, interesting. I'm curious about that. Smaller trains, is it like, uh, you know, four passengers per train? Because that would be bad. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SB Gaming. And as always, have a good day.